Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the allegation alternate. So in this video, let us see where this allegation alternate is important and how this process is going to differ with the dilution. Suppose we have a solution of 20% weight by volume. Now this is a higher concentration solution and we require a diluted sample. So we need to convert this 20% weight by volume solution to the 10% weight by volume solution. And finally we require 100 ml of the solution. So this is a simple dilution process where we have to use the solvent in order to reduce the concentration from higher to the lower level. So in order to calculate how much ml of the 20% weight by volume solution we have to use simply we can use the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2 so where C1 is the initial concentration and V1 is the initial volume and C2 is the final concentration and V2 is the final volume. So let us substitute the values so it is nothing but 20 into V1 because 20 is the initial concentration and V1 we don't know how much initial concentration we have to take. Final concentration is 10% and final volume is 100. So 10 into 100. So by solving this, we will simply get V1 is equal to 1000 by 20, which is nothing but 50 ml. So this is a simple calculation where we are diluting the sample such that we can easily identify the initial volume required by using the formula C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2. Now let us take a different case where we have the two solutions one is of 20% weight by volume and then there is a 5% weight by volume and we have to mix these two solutions such that we are getting an intermediate concentration that is a 10% weight by volume and again we require the 100 ml of the final volume then how we can prepare this solution in which ratio we have to mix these two solutions in order to get the 10% weight by volume solution. So here we cannot use the simple formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2 because here two initial concentrations are there. Here this allegation alternate plays an important role where we can easily calculate the ratios by which these two concentrations to be mixed in order to produce the intermediate concentration. So in this allegation alternate initially we have to identify allegation ratio. So what is this allegation ratio? This is a ratio of uh, mixing of two solutions in order to produce a intermediate concentration. So here we have two solutions one is a 20% and another one is a 5%. This 20% is a higher concentration and 5% is a lower concentration. Then we have to prepare an intermediate concentration which is 10%. So here we can simply apply the allegation principle. We have to subtract this 20% from the 10% so we can write this as 20 minus 10 that is equal to 10. And since here all the units are similar we can forget the unit so 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. Again, we can subtract in upward direction where we are going to subtract the 10% minus 5%. Now let us subtract the 5% concentration from the 10%. So we can write this is 10 minus 5 that is equal to 5. So in the downward direction, 20 minus 10, but in the upward direction, 10 minus 5. So subtracting like this, we can simply get the allegation ratio. Now this allegation ratio is nothing but the 5 is to 10. So on simplification, it will be 1 is to 2. So we have to mix the higher concentration by one part and lower concentration by two parts. Then we will get the intermediate concentration as 10%. In this way, first step in the allegation alternate is to identify the allegation ratio. But here, what is the volume of the higher and lower concentrations to be used in order to produce the 100 ml of the 10% weight by volume solution? Now let us go to the second step. Already we get this allegation ratio as 1 is to 2 and final volume is 100 ml. Then what are the volume of the higher concentration that is 20% weight by volume is, is equal to the higher percent is one part and the total parts is the 1 plus 2 that is the three parts. So we can simply write it as 1 by 1 plus 2 into final volume is the 100 ml. So 1 by 1 plus 2 into 100 which is nothing but 33.3 ml. Then what is the volume of that? 5% weight by volume solution. So this can be simply obtained from subtracting the 33.3 ml from the 100 ml from the final volume. So this is nothing but 100 minus 33.3 which gives the 66.7 ml. So in simple way 33.3 ml of the 20% solution should be mixed with the 66.7 ml of 5% solution in order to get the 100 ml of 10% weight by volume solution. In this way, allegation alternate makes the calculation very simple by which we can easily calculate what is the ratio of the mixing and what are the volumes of the solutions that to be mixed. Now let us take one example, working example one. 
how many parts of 16% weight by volume ointment should be mixed with 4 parts of 6% weight by volume ointment to prepare 12% weight by volume ointment. So here what is the solution? Again here we can observe the different types of concentrations. One is the 16% and another one is the 6% and these two concentrations are to be mixed to produce a 12% weight by volume ointment. Now again we can apply the allegation. So when we subtract like this it will be 16 minus 12 that is equal to 4 and similarly in the upward direction 12 minus 6 that is equal to 6. So now the allegation ratio is the 6 is to 4 otherwise it is a 3 is to 2. But here already the parts of the 6% weight by volume ointment is given. So the 6% weight by volume ointment is taken by 4 parts. So here again in the allegation ratio we got the 4 parts. So when it is taken as a 4 parts then the other concentration that is a 16% ointment should be taken as 6 parts. So we have to take the 6 parts of the 16% weight by volume ointment which should be mixed with the 4 parts of the 6% weight by volume ointment in order to get the 12% weight by volume ointment. In this way by using the allegation alternate we can also identify what is the ratio of the mixing of two different concentrations. But this is a very simple because here we are going to mix only two solutions. But when we take that more than two solutions, what happens? Suppose we have the three solutions and by mixing these three solutions, we are getting the one solution. Then how we can apply this allegation alternate? So let us take one example. Now this is a working example too. How can you prepare a 4% solution from three solutions with concentration 10%, 8% and 2%? So here we have so many concentrations, one is a 10% and second one is 8% and third one is a 2%. All these three to be mixed in order to produce a concentration of 4%. In this case again we can apply the allegation alternate and let us see the solution. So first of all higher concentration is 10% and lower concentration is 2% and we have also another concentration 8%. Whatever the final concentration we require is the 4%. So compared with the final concentration, two other concentrations are higher and one concentration is lower. Then we can consider first of all these two concentrations. One is immediately higher and one is immediately lower to the final concentration. Now let us apply the allegation here. So downward 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 and again upward 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So we have simply applied this allegation to these two concentrations 8% and 2%. Now what about the 10%? In order to bring this 10% into the calculation, now we can consider this 10% and 2% and again we can apply the allegation. And when we consider the 10% and 2%, again we can apply the allegation in a similar way. So downward direction 10 minus 4 is equal to 6 and upward direction 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So in this way we got the different types of ratios but at the 2% we got the 2 parts, here 4 parts and here 6 parts. And here these two parts are just related to the 2% solution so we can combine these two as 4 plus 6 that is equal to totally 10 parts. Now we got the allegation ratio. So 2 parts of the 10%, 2 parts of the 8% and totally 10 parts of the 2%. So allegation ratio is nothing but 2 is to 2 is to 10 which on simplification we will get 1 is to 1 is to 5. So here one part of the 10% solution, one part of the 8% solution and 5 parts of the 2% solution are to be mixed to produce the 4% solution. In this way even with the 3 components we can use the same principle allegation alternate but in case of 3 components we have to apply the allegation alternate 2 times. Initially we have to take the 2 concentrations just above and below this final concentration. Then we have to take the very higher concentration and very lower concentration again applying the allegation and what are the parts that are obtained at the lower concentration are to be mixed to get the total parts then we can easily identify the allegation ratio. In this way allegation alternate plays a very important role which makes the calculation very easy in case of mixing of two or more solutions with different concentrations. So that's about the allegation alternate. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.